Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen, better one. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man of uh, this uh, wonderful mod. <clears throat> to get a bit of an overview, we just liberated East Africa, which is a great step in the right direction. With uh, East Africa liberated, no more missions will pop up there. You can also see that uh, we will get massive, massive income. You can see it right here. Even the standard income is absolutely high as soon as we're... Uh, being able to get a few more of our um, soldiers here to start um, actually recruiting and then supply production. We can get as much as 300 supplies out of it every single month, which is just phenomenal. Which also means we're going to make contact soon to the uh, next continent. Probably it's going to be... Yeah, South Africa looks pretty tempting with the bonus. It's probably going to be uh, South America. If we were to go to Australia... Oh, Volunteer Army is good as well. Extra Resistant Soldier. Hmm. Yeah. I need to think that through. Anyways, a long story short... Today we are going to look at a different mission, Operation Whaling Palace, where we are protecting a data tab. Basically, we're going to be joined by other resistance operators. We hopefully uh, won't let them die. We can bring up to eight soldiers, and the last time that I outfitted uh, the group, I was like on the kind of on the uh, fence of whether or not we want to go with the full team. I decided, or um, I actively in the off time decided against it, which means we're taking those soldiers out, which are fatigued, and we're only going to go in with the soldiers that are, that are not fatigued, which is going to be the team of these five soldiers. Um, we're going to have Mike Bravo lead this team of mainly rookies, but I think we're going to be all right. Overall, two Grenadiers for pro, um, for plenty cover removal. Got a quite a few explosive grenades, and we got some decent equipment. So I think against twelve enemies, we should be fine. Let's see if my overconfidence is going to be punished, or if we're just being very very efficient. Good, as per the usual, we have just landed. Our intelligence gathering operations in this region have not escaped advance notice. Resistant members have established a listening post in hostile territory and have gathered crucial intel for the operations. Unfortunately, their data tab was discovered and we're, uh, they are closing in to destroy and eliminate the agents, neutralize the strike force and make sure that everyone else survives. That is easier said than done, but we're going to do our best in order to make it happen. Good, we got essentially our main team here, only five instead of eight uh, agents, and we got five resistance uh, rookies over here, including a technician, which I full-heartedly hope will not be involved in any firefights whatsoever. Uh, I always miss like having them in the missions because losing an engineer would be absolutely devastating. Good, we're moving close using the stealth to our advantage. And since we can't see any enemies, might as well move in as far as we can. Mike Bravo here needs to get a really, really good position. Beat, beat. I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing aliens, alien reinforcements coming in very soon. Heading there now. 
four now, everything seems to be fine. Yeah, let's move up just a bit closer. Good. Come get some. A few overwatches. Overwatch. We can't afford more. Yeah, and here we're probably going. Uh, here we probably need to essentially let's do this. protect the door and do one of our legendary door plays. Moving right over here into full cover. I got a few grenades, which may or may not help. And we got some really decent weaponry. I hope it's worth it. Been troops here. Uh, unfortunately, we triggered uh, an enemy pack. And even more unfortunately, they are flanking us. So now the question becomes, do we want to engage them or disengage? Let's see, so... If we were to hit the Viper with a grenade and we were able to take away some of the cover, that would actually help us. Okay, cover has been taken away and ooh, nice. We got the, uh, the option to get rid of the losts, uh, to call the loss. Um, if possible, I'd like to hit two of them with a flashbang. That would be awesome. If we hit maximum damage or crit, we could kill the Viper. Perfect. We're doing fine. So far, so good. Better close your eyes. Lost Swarm draws closer. Don't want to just move anywhere. So let's position ourselves here and just hunker down. That's a problem. That is a problem, the the double poisoning. Soldier with three hit points might be dead just because of the uh, she he's being poisoned. That is unfortunate. I think we don't have any med packs. All right, before we move anyone here, let's see what the soldiers themselves can do. So th this here could remove some cover. That's one option. Yeah, that's a nice little shot if we could hit it, but we got to deal with the Viper first. All right, let's get rid of the cover. And what I would want to do is 
reload first. We're going to stay here. Um, we're not repoisoning as long as we're not moving. What we need to do though is we need to make sure that this viper here dies one way or the other. Good, cover is being removed. That's helpful. Swarm of the loss is very close. Uh, da, 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 da. Weapon range only plus 3%, which means if we're moving a bit closer, we'd be able to hit the Viper with a higher percent chance than just 77%. I like the flanking and we might even be able to kill it, but the problem is we don't have a really good spot to do that. This here, albeit it's only ha uh, although it's only half cover, might be the better uh, spot. We're dead anyways once we're being hit, so we need to play offensively. Seven points of damage, really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. So... Full cover, and unfortunately another full cover. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is this Viper, although it only has one hit point, is still as effective as if it would have all of its hit points. Let's see, can we somehow get there? No, too far away. Way too far away. Okay, they need to deal with the threat themselves, which is okay. We'll get there eventually. So we have a 100% chance to kill it with a flash, uh, with a grenade. That's definitely an option. We have a 60% chance to kill it and then throw another flashbang. I think that's the play that I would like to do. Missed Unfortunately missed the target. It was wor worth a shot by doing so. Um, if we could have flashbanged both of them, essentially this Viper here wouldn't be able to use its uh, it's spit attack, which it now can do in order to poison one more soldier. So the explosion will spawn a full set of loss. Not yet sure if that is going to work in our favor or against us, but they certainly will spawn somewhere close. Yeah, from the first looks of it, it will work very much against us. They are going to overrun us, oh my god. The dasher is here. That's well, gonna stink. Alright. Let's move in and see if we can actually double move or if there is a pack in the way. So apparently we can double move. And I'd like to take that opportunity. Mike moves in. Double time. Took P 
Peters moves in. Basically, everyone moves in. And we're going to have one overwatch shot. Just in case one of the losses is running into our direction. Probably going to use uh, lose some of uh, our operatives now. Viper is spitting again. Luckily, we're already poisoned, so they it can't re-poison us. At least not right away. Not sure how you can miss the target. And unfortunately, there is another pack. But it seems we haven't triggered them yet. Well, but we certainly have triggered those guys. Alright, it just has become a hell lot more interesting. We're fighting 5 versus 4 right here. And the biggest problem is probably the amount of loss that are charging in. Wouldn't be surprised if we're losing someone now. Ouch. The whole lost thing certainly did not work in our favor. Not at all. Okay, the problem is there's another pack here. I already know that. So we, whatever we're doing, we gotta be a bit careful here. Mike's moving in full cover, into full cover. Okay, we can use him for area suppression afterwards. For now, let's move in and try to remove some of their cover. Okay, so that has hit them pretty well, but unfortunately the, uh, the lantern post is still standing. Interesting, they don't get the between the eyes mod. You gotta be careful. Oh, they do. Okay, perfect. They get the between the eyes mod. Okay, before doing, uh, before going on to that rampage, let's see how many we can actually kill. Happy now? My ammo's running low. 
So, the loss unfortunately backstepped us this very time. Normally they are spawning behind the enemies, but there was no more space to spawn them. So they started to spawn behind us. Yeah, we probably need to invest our entire ammunition into killing them. But then we would need to use a grenade, and the grenade unfortunately triggers even more loss. Can't hit him there. Let's get back into full cover. Not sure why he couldn't see this guy. Probably the Lost is again standing somewhere in a completely weird spot. Got to reload again. Tarek here moves further away. And matter of fact, I think he should like move all the way over here, just to be completely out of line of sight. step and we could go into cover we unfortunately can't chances of hitting them are really low I don't like that so instead well, we could uh, area suppress uh, those guys. Probably not the worst idea. Moving over here. Can we hit them? with a flashbang. I can hit one of them. Question is, can we hit both of them? It's definitely at the absolute outer range of, of the grenade. Hmm. I think the answer is probably no. He had barely hit it like into here, but that is. Yeah, that's one tile shy of hitting him. Well, I don't want to waste flashbang for only one enemy. This here might remove the cover.
We are area suppressing the others. Suppressing area. Moving all the way up to here. We are still in cover, um, in concealment, so we should be fine. <laughs> Interesting, okay. That is a 44% chance, which I think isn't the worst, so might as well take it. 50-50 killing this guy. Of course, we're missing. Alright, Overwatch. In case the lost uh, comes any closer. And we're doing another Overwatch for the Viper. Plus for the lost. So far we have very limited casualties. And these guys here demonstrate that it's actually a double-edged sword. The losses are this time taking the fire. And there's another pack. I was afraid that that might happen. Definitely got to take care of those guys. Unfortunately, just a grazing shot. Ah, that's a flanking shot. Too bad. All right, might take some damage, but we're still fine. I wonder how that wouldn't trigger Overwatch, to, uh, to be honest. But yeah, probably he has been like right behind the tree. We couldn't really move her, so losing her sucks, but any movement that we've done would have repoisoned her and immediately would have killed her. Another swarm of loss running in and our position is getting hotter and hotter. One down, thousands to go. I start just a tiny bit regretting that we only took five soldiers with us. I need a med kit here. Trade off is that we've now lost two of our operatives and we gotta move further back. We can't hold the position any longer. Alright, we're being flanked, very much so, which means we gotta definitely do something about it.
and that little something may or may not spawn even more loss but here we go first order of business making sure that they cannot use their special abilities. And we're dealing basically with the Overwatch here. Done. Okay, perfect. Now, secondly, again, falling back just a tiny bit more. I'm surprised that we cannot hit the lost which is quite literally standing here who has been hitting this guy i don't know how you can hit this soldier here and not be in line of sight i really don't understand that Big deal. Ammo. anyways let's get rid of some of the loss To be honest, there might be even more incoming very soon. Ah, unfortunately, a miss. We had a really good flank going on here, but it's fine. This here should kill both of them, as I hope that the car is going to explode. Explosion will trigger new loss. Alright, it's definitely going to trigger some loss, elsewise it wouldn't load that long. I'll let the Viper and the Trooper handle those. We're definitely going to fall back. I'm going. Moving to here. Let's make sure we kill the two losses down here. Alright, that's one down. Gosh, it's starting to slow down again. There we go. Gotta hit the Lost Stasher. They are the fastest.
good. We don't have time for a reload. Which means in our case we're just continuing to move away. In the hopes of them not reaching us fully. Nice little full cover. Anchor down. Okay, we're in a shitty situation, guys. Too many enemies at the same time. Fifty-fifty. Not exactly the type of shot that I'd like to take. So, if we ignore all of those guys here. No, 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 I want to kill. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. We're just very. Ah, we're just short of the heavy gunner. That is too bad. Okay, we're going to get there eventually. We can move Mike in. By doing so, we're opening the back. So, better move him here, which is out of line of sight. Not the best position ever, but at least not flankable. Which is important if you're being caught in a crossfire. We can kill the trooper with a 50-50. We are very much capable of hitting this guy here. Would be 100% kill. Huh. I want to position ourselves like here, which is half cover against everything. Not the best position ever, but it's also not the worst. Absolutely. Plus, the first step does not provoke. Alright, might as well kill him with a shot, that way we don't need to sprint in. Negative. Wasn't happening. Are we taking the 40-40, uh, the 50-50 to kill this guy? Or are we alternatively throwing a flashbang? I mean, we could hit one with a flashbang. Uh, not really what you want to do, right? Here is supposedly flanking someone. No, it isn't. Okay. That's a 70% chance. Let's try to kill him. I want to stay in cover. So we're not using the melee attack. And instead of trying to use the flashbang, I'm trying to actually kill this guy. Unfortunately, not the not the correct decision here. They're moving to flank me. 
That was a double move. No, it was a single move. Interesting. Alright, they are dealing with dozens and dozens of enemies. He's disoriented. He misses. Nice. Exactly what we were hoping for. Yeah, I was hoping that the, uh, there would be a line of sight barrier. I should have checked beforehand. My bad. Yeah, that's the disadvantage of being caught in a pincer. We gotta kill one side so that we're only fighting against threats from one direction. Let's see what the losses are doing. And I, I already knew that it's going to be rough with only five soldiers, specifically since we only have squaddies with us. But the layout, layout of the map and the way that the pots were engaging us certainly didn't help. So many losses. And we're fighting against reinforcements. Wonderful. That's just for the sake of of having an exit option. Gotta kill a couple of those guys now. Mike here has the largest magazine. And we probably also need to use the med kit relatively soon. Still got an auto loader, so we can take shots and immediately reload without losing any actions. So let's think about how we are going to deal with the enemies, shall we? First things first, we want to flank them. Moving in. Nice little flanking shot. This might be the end for this Advent Trooper. Good. Done. Next up.
So we certainly could kill him. Hmm. But we would be standing in the open. We would be standing in the open. We know reinforcements are coming. It's gotta be a bit careful. So I think we have the loss somewhat under control. Big deal. Empty. Got a flashbang theoretically for the Viper over there. I mean, I could try to like lo uh, lop a grenade in here. There's a chance that we're going to kill the Viper with it. Probably need to go back into full cover with Mike. I'd like to deal with him first because he's the last uh last threat that we have from this side and there currently aren't any further enemies over here so this here seems to be the safest position for us to attack him there is a fence over here um protecting line of sight so we're not going to be in line of sight of the viper and this might be a single hit kill one shot ko moving in unfortunately not Reloading. so we can take the 50 50 here We move over here, but that's not going to be a flanking shot. Move over here. Which, however, is not going to see him. Definitely need to move him. Hmm. I would definitely like to deal with the other side. Are you going here into full cover? Actually starting to fight back. Let's get rid of this guy even the, though the Viper might be able to flank us. Swarm draws closer, but closer doesn't mean uh, that it's already here. Going to get our VIP out of there. Don't want any accidental... Ooh, 
Lucky us. I was totally forgetting about that. Whew. That indeed was lucky. All right, let's position ourselves back into full cover here. Moving over here. And uh, let's see if we can kill the Viper. Alright, Mike here takes the high ground. Copy that. We're probably going to have a pro uh, an issue with both of the losses here. But who knows, maybe they're going for the reinforcements. Pretty solid pack of reinforcements right there. We're still pretty much clustered up. There are four enemies plus the four reinforcements, so eight enemies left over. Oh, really? He just shot into full cover and critted. Well, that's interesting. Alright, this is definitely going to be a pretty much a slugfest. We're getting low on resources, we're being hurt left and right. We need to spawn another swarm of losts to deal with the reinforcements, definitely. Okay, let's see. We got a couple of losses which we want to eliminate immediately. X -ray down. So far, so good. And I think now, nice little area suppression over here. It's exactly what we need. No one's going anywhere. Good. Could I theoretically? Yeah, we could step this guy and kill him. Everyone else being suppressed. That's maybe not even the worst play because they can't really move. Don't 
Dirk here begins to heal himself. I like him being in full cover. There's no nothing wrong with that. And he's back to full health. Sixty-one percent, good chance overall. Let's see Dirk here. If we would hit him, there is a good chance that we could kill him with another shot. We're just leaving the guard. Yeah. I wish we had walking fire with him already because uh, then we could simply kill the guy. This here is also a good move in terms of flanking him, but yeah, not when we can be flanked the next turn. So the two need to find a solution there, really. Hmm. The left hand flank doesn't look very nice. We need to reinforce it. Alright, we don't want to kill those guys. Rocketeer, we definitely want to at least take a shot there. Good, very nice. Scratched him is a very good start for a Rocketeer. Let's go into a flanking position. We have nothing to lose. Anyways, really low on hit points. Might as well make it count. I still have a 99% shot here. There we go. Alright, let's put him... Um, up here, that's an area where no one is going to look. Okay, we're going to go in aggressive. I don't want to spawn another pack yet. I think we're doing all right. Good, we're continuing to move in. It's probably the best idea to go for the gunner. Highest chances. Not successful. This is an exposed position where we could be flanked. This here is a better position. How the hell? Fifty-fifty. Hmm.
and there is a high chance for a grazing shot. We could hit, get we could take one more hit, but not two. On the other hand, my scout has a pretty decent to aim. We're continuing with the gunner here. Oh, nice. That was, that was good. I don't want to move away. We're going to play it safe. I'm healing myself. We have two enemies on the left hand side, one here at the back. Essentially starting to hit the target and two more enemies as reinforcements plus a couple of loss. It's getting more and more manageable. Whoa. Reload, okay. Indeed, thanks for body armor. We are in full cover, and the Rocketeer whew, takes some mindless shots at the loss. This is triggering Overwatch. Nice. Good job. Well done, Mike Bravo. I love area Overwatch. Mwah. And another Lost Swarm appears. Well. This is becoming more and more a pretty dirty dogfight. What started out as supposedly a clean, safe, uh, safe thing operations became more and more of a straight out brawl. And I blame the loss to a degree. I mean, we had everything under control before they spawned like literally in the middle of our living room. I just realized we're already again an hour in. It seems I cannot uh, play half hour missions anymore. The losts are just making it seemingly impossible. Good. First things first. Our flank on uh, this side. We're moving up. Moving out. Yeah, we almost got it. Moving to here. To get a good shot, let's kill this guy. Very nice. Scouts down. Gotta be a bit careful where we're going to position ourselves. I like this one here. Closing on target position now. Yeah, I figured that that might happen. We got a backup plan and a backup plan for the backup plan.
All right, Mike here. Let's kill the Rocketeer. Really important that this guy dies. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't work out. We can't sprint all the way over here. I think our backup plan is starting to fall apart. Taken care of. That's it, I'm out. Oh yeah. Okay, we need to kill some more of the loss. Enemy eliminated. That's why stashing in is not a smart idea. Okay, so that's as much as we can do. Now time to kill the Rocketeer, even if it means that we're taking one or two hits from the loss. The Rocket of the Rocketeer uh, hitting Mike Bravo's position would take him off the rooftop, and we can't afford that. Bring ourselves into full cover. Not sure why we can't see those guys here, but okay. Moving closer forward. And positioning ourselves uh, here. Fortunately, our backup plan A and B didn't work. Because we couldn't sprint over here and melee attack him, and we had to reload. So it was a problem. I don't mind the Overwatch, it's gonna be triggered by the loss, anyways. This guy now is flanking us, but instead takes sh three shots and might need to reload. No. Oh, wow. Whew. Taking a lot of damage overall. Enemies down. Good. Got the retaliation going. It was too much, I couldn't get the loot yet. Ooh, and we need to reload. Wow, that's a bummer.
Going for full cover. That scout heavily outplays us. Slowly but surely we're going to get him down. Unfortunately, we don't have an ability that just deals one point of damage. Our grenades are gone. We could suppress him, but I'd much rather like to kill him. Chances are pretty low to hit those. One down, two down. I'm low on ammo. Three down. Target down. Weapons empty. Can't engage. And continuing to engage. Moving up. We're moving our Grenadier back. I don't want anyone to die just because of bad RNG luck. Moving up further. There you go. And we're dealing with a loss. No, we're actually going to let this loss live. And try to hit him. Very nice. Good job. All right, next turn we're going to drop down and we'll kill him. Only two more enemies, both of them heavily injured. Nice, very nice. Okay, we're at the point where I think it's fair to say that we got it under control. Drop it down over here. Not sure how this guy still can have cover. But I can only repeat myself. I absolutely dislike the fact that this mod still produces the movement, pro uh, the movement uncertainties. Not sure why it does it, but it, it really sucks. Anyways. There we go. Nice. PCS, PCS perception is definitely something we can use. Good to go. 
All right, and that is it, guys. Successfully defended everything. Another example of never give up. We only lost two of our uh, of our operators. Yeah, and overall, none of the XCOM agents died, so it was an okay mission. And here we go, we just landed. Let's see how severe the injuries really are. Got a couple of, yeah, well, 13 days sucks, but the rest actually makes sense. I like the rep deployment. <clears throat> We're going to go down that route again. And here is Walkfire, which we could have really used quite well in the last mission. Well, I would lo love to increase your bond, but currently we do have bigger problems. So overall we're okay, we got enough context, we probably need to go with um, with a Satellite Center soon to, to get more context. Hmm. I am wondering if we're going to go for the unique weapons. I don't know what Long War has made out of them, but the Hunter's Axe definitely is worth it. Shadowkeeper usually is also worth it. Our supplies are limited though, so it's difficult to make that sort of decision. Hmm. I like it. Additional protection for, for our soldiers. Let's maybe start with that. Good. We still got enough engineers, which is great. We did not lose anyone. Super important. So let's take a look where we are on the strategy layer. Only lost two operatives here. Everyone's on Intel at the moment, which I think is fine. We can definitely do that. Do we have a scientist available? Well, in zero hours, he's no longer gravely wounded. We definitely should continue to heal faster because that's our biggest problem at the moment. We have too many people that are injured. For East Africa. Haven advisor here we should get a scientist. Well, he's still gravely wounded. Anyways, apparently it works. Let's get some supplies first. And then we might want to do uh, get in contact with a different region. Avenger plotting new course. Which is probably going to cost us quite a fortune of our intel. <laughs> we got a supply rate. Mission expiration in one day, 23 hours. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I mean, I would definitely like to do that. 
but I think we're not in the sh in the shape of doing it. Kind of a zero percent infiltrated supply rate. We could bring a few of our main troops. Matter of fact, we could bring the AT, uh, the entire A team, and try to go for a zero percent infiltrated supply rate. I fear. Now that's going to be pretty much a slaughter fest. On the other hand, it'll provide us a lot of resources. It's another double-edged sword. Hmm. What else do we have ongoing at the moment? I mean, we get supplies uh, there. Supply rate itself would be nice because it also provides corpses. We got a halfway infiltrated mission here. We got a smash and grab, also half halfway infiltrated. And what's the last one? I was born of battle, of a desire to face my enemies in combat. Well, that one is good because finding a lead means we're on the way of liberating that area as well. Um, oh no, sorry. It's just finding a lead is uh, the, the objective, it's not the reward. Hmm. Yeah, we haven't even started to infiltrate that in three days. It's too little. We don't have the manpower. Yeah, we're really strapped with manpower at the moment. I like the idea of another supply raid. I really like it. It's difficult. The reason why I'm hesitating is there's a lot of reward in it. But our prime team would definitely be injured no matter how well I'm playing that. Raid and advent train, intercept advent reinforcements, and essentially just sweep the entire area. One day, 23 hours, however. We could start at least infiltrating it and getting it down from 40 to reasonable 30-ish levels. Let me see what we can do, guys. Just to see what kind of a SWAT we could deploy. For West Africa. I know I'm pushing the limits here. We, One of the things in uh, Long War that you should be aware about is the harder we kick Advent in their, in their little alien balls, the more they will fight back and Long War almost has no upper limit of being unfair. It can become very, very unfair. So at this very moment, if we were to go into a 0% infiltrated, I'm not sure if if we could end game. You can certainly handle 40 plus enemies because you have the skills and the equipment to do so. At the moment, it's uh, not 100% clear if, you, if we could. So. Let me double check and see what kind of a team I could uh, put together. All right, after quite a bit of careful consideration, we might be able to do this. We got an entire day and 20 hours of infiltration up, to, uh, up in front of us. With a huge squad size, we might be able to get it down to 40-ish. Uh, we could still boost it and pay some intel to get it down to 40 to 42 that that's one pack less so yeah i mean it's going to be a pretty intense firefight 
The baseline activity is only 13 to 15 enemies, but clearly with that little time and these amount of soldiers that we uh, put in, that'll be a substantial fight that they're going to put up. But you guys wanted hard missions, and I'm going to deliver on that. And there we go. Infiltration started. Shortly hopping to the black market because we haven't been there uh, in a while. If we were to sell, yeah, we got quite a few options to sell here. I don't want to really sell a lot of the corpses, to be honest, because we need them. But it's good to know that we would have deep pockets if we needed them. A bit more supplies are okay. Yeah, so we would have plenty. Plenty of options. Another engineer or scientist? Hmm, not bad. I like the idea. We could also go for more Larium and Alien Alloys, which we would get out of the raid. Hmm. That's not bad either, but I don't intend to be killed that often. I like the conditioning with an extra hit point, that's also a good one. But we need to make sure that we're spending our supplies wisely. And at the moment there is so much we could theoretically spend them on. This here is an option. We could go for large, uh, larger unit infiltrations, essentially making it more easy for us to infiltrate with squads of six to seven uh, units. Hmm, I like that idea as well. Problem is. It costs a lot of supplies. Stay with me is absolutely wonderful. Mentally awake is also pretty damn good. I like the idea of um, an option to increase the squad size by even one more, which isn't bad, so that would give us nine. Yeah, out of this here yet isn't working out for us. We're too low from the ranks. Yeah, we could theoretically train officers, but at the moment no one is available. And that is that goes back to the whole point of us being really strapped with resources. So let's finish the supplies over here and then we're going to probably also wrap up the episode. We're already one and a half hours in again. I'm trying to really speed through this, to be honest. Wow, nice. 93 supplies. That's pretty damn good. Good, we got a lot of resistance personnel down here. Five days. Perfect opportunity for us to get some more 
um, support. We have like what? Uh, overall nine. So that would fill our ranks quite well. Yet again, we're in the difficult spot. We essentially need to free up more uh, soldiers. Unfortunately, we still can't recruit more, which I am a bit annoyed about. I don't know why they have changed that, but look at that. Like the recruitment is completely empty. So in terms of the next mission, hmm. I mean, everyone's infiltrating. We got like one shinobi ready. Potentially these two here on their covert ops mission. 24 hours. There are a couple of lightly wounded if we're continuing to. Uh, if we're continuing to heal faster, 24 hours, they would be ready. So we could at least infiltrate with four. That's a Shinobi, Grenadier, Specialist, and another Specialist. Well, maybe we can get the Skirmisher. Isn't the best team ever, but it would work to get the guys out of there. All right, back to what we're doing normally, which is getting everyone healed up. The strategy with the Mars missions is good, but it has the limitation that Long War of the Chosen apparently doesn't allow you to just recruit further rookies, which I normally would do. Ooh, nice. Okay, and we're now forced to to do that mission. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We got ourselves a hazmat vest, which is doo -doo 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 -doo. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Where do we get the inventory? There we go. Hazmat vest. Um A really nice option makes you completely immune against fire acid or poison so I personally love it it also gives you um, additional hit points I think two or three if I'm not mistaken so it's definitely worth the slot let's take a look here so yeah soldier health plus three immunities and only one vest can be equipped, but yeah, who gives a fuck if you're immune against fire, acid, and poison? Fire specifically is good against purifiers, acid really, really good against grenadiers, and poison against uh, vipers in every form of poisoning. I like it. My only question is, can we build more of these bad boys? Let's double check that real quick and then I'm going to end the episode. Armor. Oh, hell yeah, we can build more of those. Well, guys, I just realized where the money is going. It's going into Hesmes vests. Very much so. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. That's a good breakthrough. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As per the usual, you know the drill. Leave a like and a comment down below. If you like what you've seen, uh, comment. And uh, we're going to jump right into the next mission with a massive, massive uh, fight in the supply rate. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.